Just going back to wastelands, when you talk about freedom, working within, uh, you know, the horror genre, I would say, uh, but also surrealism, does that allow you uh, poetic freedom? I think the horror genre does. It, it really, really does. I'm glad you mentioned surrealism because that was a big influence on, on the film as well. Um, and my, my particular style, surrealism, is hugely important. But the horror genre itself does allow for it's that one genre that is not stuck in one particular area it's the kind of genre that you can expand into social realism it's the kind of genre that you can you can make in just a pure entertainment film it is the kind of genre that you can really expand and bend so much more than than say straight say strict drama or romantic comedy or or, you know, whatever genre it might be, like sci-fi. You know, you need certain elements in sci-fi to call something sci-fi. Whereas horror, like my film, I wouldn't call it traditionally horror, but it has horror-esque elements to it. And that's the great thing about horror is that you can just keep expanding it and moulding it. And I think we've got some fantastic filmmakers out there now that are making some really beautiful horror films that are, expanding it people like jordan peele ari Aster, you know people like this that are that are bending and flexing the horror genre to a massive degree that it's it's now becoming much more than what it was seen as earlier on in in its you know creation where it's just a hokey genre now it's considered much you know i think it's much more con considered and um, respected i think the horror genre is yeah, I think when you talk about uh, horror sort of being less respected than other genres, uh, there have been plenty of scholars sort of who have written their thoughts about it. But I think that looking back to it, it in cinema, it's true more than in other art forms because something uh, horror imagery in, in art such as painting or sculpture would have been celebrated, uh, e even defined more as surrealistic. So it's very interesting to kind of note that. I think a lot of people have also said that um, part of the reason why horror was sort of looked down uh, to is that um, but it, it evokes a bodily reaction from the audience, yeah. much like comedy, which is why horror and comedy have sort of been put in the same bracket of films that are not uh, as easily celebrated as, as others. Absolutely, yeah, I think you're absolutely you're absolutely right on that on that score because it is it is a, it is a, you, mu you get much more of a knee jerk reaction to horror as opposed to any other genre and comedy. So you're absolutely right, and I think you know going forward, I can see great things for the horror genre to keep expanding and to keep you know and to get to the point where it's just as well respected as say you know if we if we you know take the Hollywood genre for example or the or the, the Cannes Film Festival, for example, I think it, horror will get to that point where it's so much more well-respected, even in those kind of pinnacles of what people aspire to do. So I can only see it getting better. I can only see it getting better.